Welcome back. Well, Batik is usually seen on printed uh, stuff on our, or on our everyday clothes, but now a crafty Indonesian guitar making company is applying Batik designs on electric guitars. Now, these guitars have ever been given as a gift to U.S. President Barack Obama. Batik is usually seen on printed cloth or on our clothes, but not with this one. Batik can be applied to other media. Just like this printed batik on an electric guitar that you can find at this convention called the Place of Created Arts Festival or better known as Mocha Fest in the Jakarta Convention Center. The process of making the batik pattern is pretty the same as making a regular batik shirt using a cartridge and a ball filled with hot wax. Jadi kayaknya gue bisa bermain dan bereksperimen dengan batik deh, tapi gimana caranya kita kayak uh, ngelebur kembali biar nggak kuno, tapi kita membuat sesuatu yang uh, apa ya digandungi masa sekarang gitu, which is like with music dengan In 2014, this handmade batik guitar was part of a gift that was given to the U.S. President Barack Obama. They hope that by making this electric guitar, they are able to promote Indonesian culture to the younger generation as well as the rest of the world. And to talk to us more about these lovely Batik guitars, we have with us the CEO of GNB Guitars, Putri Sulistiowati. Hello. 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 Right, thanks so much for coming. No worries. Now, uh, it's a pleasure. <laughs> yeah. Tell us a bit about the beginning of uh, your Batik guitars and how it was came about oh okay so it's quite interesting because you know like um the founder is actually my dad mm -hmm. so like we grew up um me and um my brothers and sister like, we grew up surrounded by a, a family a javanese family like we're very very close with cultures and also tradition mm -hmm. which is like it's quite um important to us to mm -hmm. actually like appreciate about batik so it's it's just like been there for you know like since i was a little girl mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and like um because my dad he's very very active guitarist back in the 70s okay. and then like he very um much in love in batiks and also um javanese culture mm -hmm. so he decided to put them together and then like decided mm -hmm. okay so i'm just gonna make this batik guitar so mm -hmm. it's like the combination between his love of music and also cultures. Culture. Now, can you probably explain to us the, the process actually of making the guitar well, itself? This is very interesting indeed because like the process, for the whole process, it took around like 30 years. So it's like, imagine that I I, I wasn't born back in the 30 years 30 before. years for the okay. whole process of making. No, that's, that's, the that's the process of making the first guitar. The first guitar. The first guitar. guitar. Like, um, okay. It took us, you know, like a lot of planning to do, development mm. and also mm -hmm. trial and error. And then like a, a lot of studying as well because like um, I know I remember when I was a little kid my dad used to go to Jakarta back and forth and then like using the um, the guitar that he owned mm -hmm. before and then like try to uh, do the batik process on the guitar and then like it failed and then like okay so it's quite good but it's not good enough and then like mm -hmm. it took years and years and years but now we actually uh, we now have you know like the um, a very good um, quality of guitar so it's 30 years is very worth it. <laughs> right. Now, uh, it seems like the process was very hard. Yeah, the process I itself is very mm. hard, but now we finally have the method for ourselves right. for um, around like one month to make like one uh, good quality batik right. guitars. Now, uh, uh, you, you were telling me this, this before that these guitars, um, it's not just the batik motif, but yeah. it's also the actual mm -hmm. process because mm -hmm. in, in the UNESCO, it's batik is not just the motive. Yes, mm -hmm. so exactly. It's also, yeah. yeah, because like, um, this in GNB guitars especially like we wanted to uh, emphasize about the process which is like using the chanting and also mm -hmm. the wax mm -hmm. so it's like imagine that you need to use the chanting uh, on wood but uh, mm -hmm. and uh, with wax itself but it's not uh, necessarily has to be the motive the mm -hmm. batik motives but you could also use the motive from ulos or mm -hmm. you know like a lot of um a lot of fabrics like mm. spreading a lot of all over Indonesia. Mm. So like especially like uh, well, what we're going to show you. Yeah, like sure. the one it's, uh, it's it's from Borneo. It's okay. from Kalimantan. Mm. So it's like the traditional pattern from Kalimantan. We use that pattern, but we use uh, we apply it with batik process. So it's kind of it's still batik, but it's not a batik motif. So How do you select the patterns though for each? Um, is there a specific pattern for a specific type of guitar? <laughs> no, not really. But we do have 
um, all of the patterns uh, all over Indonesia. So from Sabang to Maroke, we have a lot of them. So it's like in total, we have like a, around like 50 guitars, I think. Mm -hmm. So it's like it represents each region and also each cities of Indonesia. And you have someone who is uh, specializing in designing, or is it your father? Uh, the design is uh, it's not really. We have uh, our own artisans, which okay, is like yeah. um, they are um, specialized in wood. And um, what my dad uh, usually do, like he all he always like brings the pattern. Either it's fabric, cloth, or right. um, I don't know, like patterns uh, in paintings. Mm -hmm. But um, he brought it to the artisans and then like asked the artisan, "Can you make this, but with batik process?" Oh, yes. okay. No, uh, I I heard that many of these batik guitars are custom made. Yeah, um, and they're custom ordered by. A lot of famous Indonesian mm -hmm. guitars. Yeah. Any like overseas <laughs> guitars as well? Um, overseas guitars, not quite, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, we do have uh, President Barack Obama, but mm -hmm. he's not really a guitarist, right. but you know, like he's very important to the world, okay. obviously. Mm -hmm. But I mean, like one thing that I could um, make an example, it's probably like Mr. Stiaw and Jody. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, like we all know, like he's the um, Indonesian legend in yeah. music, right? Yeah. He's a very badass um, mm -hmm. guitarist okay. as well, and he actually ordered like custom made the guitar with my dad like it took like a couple of months mm -hmm. and yeah he's and he's very specific, uh, specific about mm -hmm. his request as well because like you know as a guitarist he's very um not really complicated but he asks you know like based on his standards okay. and yeah and then like uh, what my dad did like mm -hmm. he not only he's a producer, but he's also a friend to Stiaw and Mr. Stiaw and Jody. Mm -hmm. And then, like you know, like they have a consultation about okay, like I want to make it like this kind of body guitar, and mm -hmm. with this neck, with this, with this uh, um, strings, and then um, and then like it took around like a couple of months, and yeah, and then like uh, just made like a custom made Stiaw and Jody guitar, which is very very cool. <laughs> right now, um, has has there been a, a, a response from overseas customers though? Yeah. I mean, are you guys selling? Um, those? actually, yes. Uh, mm. quite recently, because like we just joined the Mocha Fest mm -hmm. uh, with the yeah. WIF uh, World Islamic mm -hmm. Economic Forum, and then we have one um, like buyers. He's actually from Bangla, Bangladesh, and he's very interested to you know like about the guitars as well, and then mm. like. Um, that's the thing b with the batik guitars that we have. Like, there's always a positive response from you know, like buyers overseas, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and here, like, we are trying so hard to you know, like, spreading the awareness about this is you know, like, this is from Indonesia, and then like, we really want everyone to know that. Um, yeah, this is our, the legacy that we need to carry on. Mm -hmm. We need to conserve. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's such a shame if you know, like, um, the people from uh, uh, foreign countries that recognize it first, mm -hmm. rather than you know, like the local people in mm -hmm. Indonesia. So, yeah. <laughs> so what are you doing right now to promote? Do you have uh, stores, perhaps in Indonesia yes, um, or overseas? Um, I do have a store. It's not re we don't really call it store, but we call it workshop. All right. So it's it's called House of GNB, which is at my house. Mm -hmm. So. We we turned uh, that house to uh, pretty much like a live workshop, so mm -hmm. the people could actually try to, you know, do the batik process. Mm -hmm. It's like and a gallery as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like, right. like a really, yeah. really homey and uh, family kind of gallery okay. because like my dad's always around and then like if someone wants to see mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. uh, he could always just uh, come to our house jamming mm -hmm. together with my dad or probably cool. myself if I'm mm -hmm. I'm home okay. and yeah and then like usually they they develop that kind of you know relationship mm -hmm. between my dad and then like this is very cool and then like you know like it's very very you know like friendly and yeah, yeah. Okay. But what do you do to promote them to overseas buyer for instance because your your store is located your workshop is yeah, located exactly. in Indonesia and mm -hmm. you do have overseas buyers, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like for now, like we're trying to, you know, like try our best to use the social media, oh, and right. then like we Internet. do have, yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. And then like we do have a lot of um, guitars, like in England, also mm -hmm. in the United States, also in uh, Europe. So mm -hmm. for that, uh, from that, we're trying to, you know, like can you help us to spread the the, the, the news about the about the guitar. Right. Now, um, are, are you guys the only guitar making uh, company in Indonesia? Because uh, South Korea <laughs> and Japan, they've, yeah. they've 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 been involved in guitar making for a long time. Exactly. But Indonesia, is there 
in the industry here at all? Um, well, I could say that we are the first okay. uh, um, um, making the guitar based on batik process, um, electric guitars, yeah, and then it's the first in Indonesia. Um, so we could say that, I mean, like, it doesn't matter if people, you know, like, really want to use the batik process afterwards, mm. but now, like, as long as we're the first, and then, like, we register it as the first one, mm. and then, like, um, uh, the, um, Mr. Shiaan Muna from yeah. Baycraft, he already mentioned that this is the first one. Uh, so right. it's very important to us to have that recognition, if you know mm -hmm. what I mean. Right, <laughs> but um, there, there aren't any, uh, there aren't that many, for example, in the U.S. they have Fender, they have Taylor. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Indonesia has a big potential because all the wood is exactly, here, Exactly, right? exactly, but, yeah. you know, yeah. there's, there's no industry. Yeah, in the like, um, yeah, it's quite, it's quite a struggle for us as mm. anyway, because like, um, in, uh, in, in the terms of the brand, for, for the musical brand, like, we're not, you know, we're not very, very good at that because like yeah. we, we do have like the superior ones such as like Fender, Gibsons right. and, okay. and but by using our own cultures, I think it could be like the highlight. It could be like okay. its own value at the right. guitar. So yeah. yeah, that's why it's very, very interesting for everyone to know that, oh, this is something very special. Right. You're not o you're not only offering the guitar, but you're offering a history of right. your country, which is very important okay. to us as well. <laughs> okay, well, maybe we yeah, can take a look. You can yeah, perhaps you can an example or sample of your guitar. Ah, yes, okay. right. so this, this is an one? electric guitar, yeah? Yeah, this is so um, this is the Borneo pattern which right. is I'm talking about yeah. earlier. Uh -huh. um, it came from Kalimantan. So we, we took this actually um, when we are having our trip to Europe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have our own diplomatic mission uh -huh. for Kalimantan mm -hmm. and then this is the Borneo pattern. Like it's like one of the best sellers uh -huh. so far because okay. I don't know, because like it's it's quite uh, it, it is tribal, right? And then mm -hmm. If you could see, like this is the actual color of the wood, All which right. is very, ah. very interesting, and it okay. could be really like highlighting, mm -hmm. right. right? Yeah, it's like it's um, it's very unique, and also everyone, I don't know, everyone's very loved it, and like okay. we we mm -hmm. have like around like six um, uh, Borneo bass and guitars. How mm. long does it take to actually finish one? Um, so now, like don't don't think about it as a thirty years of you know yeah. like yeah. making yeah. a one guitar, but yeah. now we finally have a method. So like maximum one month. One so month, this okay. took one month. To yeah, custom made. And it's and it's hand custom handcrafted. Yeah, by handcrafted. Artisan. Yeah, yeah. You can mm. you can imagine, right? So okay. you're using the chanting and then like just like draw it. Mm. Right. Yeah. So mm. basically, it's the same process as making a batik. Uh, yeah, batik yeah, it yeah, it is. It is. It is the same process. That's all right. okay. It is. It is. It is. It is trickier because it's wood, uh -huh. and then the color itself could you know like it could be really different. You know, like if you're oh, if you're yes. applying it cloth and mm. then it's going to be you know like stay longer but but here but this won't fade though um, on cloth? for Sometimes a long time like yeah. for a long time because oh, like, we yeah. have our own coating ah, yeah right, the glossy right, coating right. yeah okay <laughs> well interesting mm. that's great mm -hmm. okay thank you three. So well much. thanks so much for yeah. sharing with us yeah. thank you very much for having me guys yeah. <laughs> okay all right uh, coming up after the break following the brexit referendum the u.s the uk's property markets has seen the worst decline in three years. Plus more from the world of business. Stay with us.